the needs of the preterm child or low birth or a child with conditions, the caregivers need to be more given more support from where I sit, uh, rather than being condemned or uh, people running away from them because this has happened. Apart from the clinic where we have open forum, we have an open forum as well with mothers whose children either they are low birth weight, preterm babies, or with a condition. So they have to be put in the, in the incubator to be there so that they, they can be observed. It is traumatizing to give birth to a preterm child or a low birth weight. It is traumatizing. It is disturbing. What are their needs? These women, they are traumatized. These women go through rejection by their family members because they are thinking, oh, what a small thing have you given birth? So they, nobody will understand them. You can imagine, they, they have done nothing. Uh, they did not say they wanted to get those preterm babies or uh, low birth weight babies. But the child has come, the child is not dead, the child is living. So we must allow this woman to process this contact of a small human being and, uh, and allow them to know we appreciate them. Because if we don't appreciate them, they will not appreciate the, the human being. A preterm child, they don't have capacity to signal or to communicate like a normal child. So meaning, the, the mother may struggle to pick the signals or cues of the communication of the child. And meaning, that child, again, because the mother is not able to pick those things, uh, the, the, the health and again, the survival of that child is affected. After again the, the knowledge I have in terms of the preterm children, they are in capability in terms of attachment levels. Attachment levels is quite not like a normal child. And I worked with a group, a group, oh, I know one woman. She had big body, but her child was very tiny. And if you see that baby today, oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful, beautiful lovely girl. That woman loved. Even if it was hard to, to let them understand these terms, attachment, I had to use the basic language they can understand. And they understood. They understood. I have three. I followed up. I had three. They survived very well. Unless I tell you this was a preterm child, you will not know. One, preterm children, because they, they lie down like this, so sometimes you may see the head, and the head will just say, this is a preterm child. This, for these three children, no. The mothers were there at the right time to uh, breastfeed. At the NB, sometimes they will not even go because you don't want to go and see that bad thing. And you know, again, that impacts the, the survival of the child. But these mothers rejoiced and went to, to breastfeed their children because they understood that if these children, unless you are able to be very strong obs observer, you may not know when they need to be fed, you may not know when they need to be changed. So it has to take you as a caregiver. The environment around this mother, the people around this mother, we must help this mother to be in a good mental capacity. All around, she must be in a good mental capacity so that she can be a strong and a source of care to this child who need them most. Their needs are complex. And of course, this mother is wondering, how will this little being become somebody? So it's a journey. It has to be a journey that we'll have to work with this mother. So let's meet the, the mental, the social, the emotional needs of mothers who are raising preterm children or children with low birth weight. Let's meet those needs and they'll be able to give the best for the survival of their babies.